asking us to find the four fourth roots of one, and they ask us to do it two different ways. Okay, so the first way is by factoring. Okay, so what this is saying is we have a complex number that if we raise it to the fourth power, we get one. Okay, that would be the four fourth roots. If I take the, um, the fourth root of each side, that sort of thing. Well, so this, you know, would be equal to that, uh, z to the fourth minus one. So then these are both perfect squares. z squared minus one times z squared plus one. Well, this can factor down z minus one times z plus one times um, this right here. Think about this for a second. z squared would equal negative one. Square root, square root, plus minus. The square root of negative one is i. So z here would equal plus or minus i. Um, so this breaks down to z, um, one of them is minus i, the other one is z plus i. And now we have come down to what we have here is we've got um, our z value is equal to plus or minus 1 or plus or minus i. Now if you think about this, if I take any of these four numbers and I raise them to the fourth power, um, 1 to the 4th is equal to 1, negative 1, the negative raised to the 4th power is still positive 1. Now when I have a negative i to the 4th, um, a negative becomes a positive, the i to the 4th is equal to a positive 1. If I have i to the 4th, we just said that's equal to positive 1. Refresh some of the earlier videos if that doesn't make sense to you. Um, so here are the four fourth roots of positive 1. Um, we also can use the what they call the the nth root method. Okay, and so in that case, what we've got here is we can we can use Damov's theorem um, in kind of a different way. So um, if our we've got um, z to the fourth is equal to one. Well, if you think on the unit circle, one is over here. That's just that's just one cis. Um, zero, okay, or zero, um, this is at zero, this is also at two pi, this is also at four pi, so we can say that this is, um, that our z to the fourth is equal to cis of um, two pi k. Okay, and now I want to take the fourth root of, of this, so I want z to the fourth, I want to raise this to the fourth, Okay, it's one fourth times the um, modulus, but the modulus is one, one, the one to the one fourth power is still just one. So this z value would be equal to cis, um, the, the, the modulus is fine, now we have to think about the argument. The argument becomes um, two pi k over four, because it's this power multiplied by the argument. Well, let's clean this up a little bit. This is just saying cis of pi over two k. Well, unit circle, pi over 2k means, well, when I plug in 0, so typically now what we would do, this one works out beautifully and we know it from the unit circle, but we're going to plug in 0, 1, 2, and 3. Basically, we want four values that we're plugging in and we're going to start with 0. We could go 1 through 4, but then the fourth one will repeat us back to the 0 one. So I have... 0 times 2 pi is just 0, so that's here, and then I plug in 1 pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, and now this gives me positive 1, this is positive i, this is negative 1, and this is negative i. And that's how we can find those, um, these same values right here using the nth root method.